I thought it'd be a great idea to, on my first date with a girl, first girl that actually liked me, that I met while dancing out in the nightclub, our first date, I'm gonna take an edible. Now, in San Francisco, there's Dolores Park, and there's a dude that sells weed brownies, and he's famous, infamous, for selling some of the strongest weed brownies. My friends told me, you gotta try it. You're not a true San Franciscan until you do an edible from Dolores Park. So I, I go there, there's no kiosk. <laughs> where you can just, hi, I'll take three. So you gotta look for the, you gotta look for the sketchy guy in the park. And I see the, this dude with dreads, and I was like, that's him. <laughs> and I walk up to him like, hey, do you got the weed brownies I've been hearing about? And he said, what makes you think I have weed on me? <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> and he said, five dollars. <laughs> and he hands me this brown paper bag, and it's got a weed brownie in it, cut in two halves, right? So I'm gonna sit down, I'm waiting for my date to arrive. I'm nervous. So I take the first half. I'm thinking, by the time she shows up, I'll be nice and mellow, like Snoop Dogg, right? <laughs> Mixed with Bob Marley, right? I'm chilling. I don't feel anything. No, I'm, I'm from New Jersey, right? I'm not a drug addict like you, so I didn't know. This is all new to me, okay? This is this was like 10 years ago before like YouTube was really popular, all right? I didn't, I didn't know, I didn't have time to Google it. So I, I take the other half. Yeah. And then the, the Rasta comes back and he sees me with like crumbs on my face and the bag empty. And he's like, hey, by the way, I only take half. I was like, I was like, dude, I took the whole thing. Am, am I gonna be okay? And he's like, oh yeah. <laughs> and he walks away and I'm sitting there like, what's gonna happen next? And my date shows up, and it's going well, right? She's looking beautiful. I'm thinking like, great, I finally met someone I liked. I'm not gonna be alone, crying myself to sleep again. <laughs> and then it kicks in. <laughs> yeah. Now, if you've ever done edibles before, basically, <laughs> this is how it goes. I don't feel anything. <laughs> I still don't feel anything. <laughs> I can see dead people. <laughs> so high. <laughs> Have you ever been so high you start thinking like, will I ever be the same again? <laughs> Did I do permanent damage? <laughs> Is this my new condition? <laughs> Are my friends gonna have to start a GoFundMe page to raise money to get me back to normal again? <laughs> I just wanna be normal again. <laughs> I'm trying to talk to her and the conversation's just, just terrible. Sarah, she's asking me simple questions. I'm, she's like, where are you from? I'm like, yeah, about 10.30. 10.31. And it's not going well. And I'm thinking, I'm ruining this. So I was like, what, if I left now, there's still a chance I can salvage it later, right? Thinking like, you know, it's only five minutes in, I'll salvage it later. So I made up an excuse to leave. I was like, I gotta get forks and knives for our salad. <laughs> I wasn't thinking straight. I was, and she's like, we have forks and knives right here. I'm like, those are non-compostable. We need compostable forks and knives for the environment. I'll be right back. And I walked, there's this supermarket right in the corner in Dolores Park, and I walked downhill, and it took me 45 minutes to get there. And I get the forks and knives, I turn around, I look uphill, and I'm like, I'm not gonna make it. So I just got a taxi home, and I left her there. Yeah, I, I was I was the I was the reason for the bad date. I'll admit it. No one ever admits that. Everyone's like, my date sucked, but I was the reason for the bad date. I'll admit it. I went home, went to sleep, woke up 17 hours later, <laughs> and I called her to apologize. And I said, you know, I'm sorry, I I, uh, I just had one of those edibles. I got too high. It's hard to be honest and attractive, you know? <laughs> and I was like, I just got too high and I just, I just left rather than subject you to an awkward date of me trying to lick the air, you know? It's <laughs> like, are you upset? And she's like, no. I was like, really? Why not? She says, well, to be honest, I don't know you that well and I just thought 
you were mentally handicapped. I had no idea. So I'm practicing non-judgment. Well, uh, moral of the story is there's someone for everyone. 